Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy, if you're new here. I am a Johannesburg-based flight attendant. And yeah, I just fly locally around South Africa. I wanted to sit down with you guys and talk to you about the hot topic of the moment, I guess. There has been so much media coverage over the coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. And I just wanted to get my two cents in because people have been asking me like, dude, you're a flight attendant, you interact with so many people on a daily basis, you're in close quarters with them all day at work. How are you still alive? <laughs> um, this is based off of the research I've done, the doctors I've listened to, the articles that I've read. I've been on the Center of Disease Control's website and read a bunch of this information. Yeah, this is basically what I've been doing. I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been doing. I feel like these have been good tips that I've been following and so far so good. <laughs> As of today, the 11th of March, 2020 there are 13 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in South Africa. I've also read that a lot of the people who have been badly affected by getting this virus are people who already have like compromised immune systems or already have respiratory issues and stuff like that. The symptoms as far as I've read have been fever, cough, shortness of breath and sometimes even a sore throat. I was watching an interview of a coronavirus patient, a lady that was on that cruise ship and then she went to a hospital and stuff. She didn't even know she had the virus until she was randomly selected for a throat swab and that's how they found out that she had the virus. And she said she barely had any symptoms, she barely has any now and she's currently being treated for it. So anybody could have it without knowing, you know, that's kind of the ugh, part of this again like i said not a doctor but um i am a flight attendant i do work with people all day and this is how i've been keeping myself somewhat safe in the midst of all of this so first thing don't panic <laughs> i feel like knowledge is power and i've done a ton of research i've read a ton of articles i've watched a ton of interviews and the main thing i've realized is that so long as I don't take my dirty hands and touch my orifices, like my eyes, my nose, my mouth, with my hands, should be all good. Avoid shaking hands with people because obviously that is how this virus is transferred between human to human. If you touch somebody else's hands and then you turn around and you touch your own face or something like that, then you will most probably get the virus. So try to avoid doing that. I think even avoid giving a fist pump because if you think about it, and I think a lot of people don't think about it, is you touch your face a lot with even the back of your hand. We're all focusing on like the front, the palms of our hands and what we touch with that. But at the end of the day, if you're sweating, you go like this, don't you? I do. <laughs> so yeah, try to avoid making contact with some with other people's hands basically do an elbow bump if you must whatever just avoid shaking someone else's hands holding someone else's hands even a fist pump just try to stay safe also please try to avoid coughing or sneezing especially in public or in a crowded place on an aircraft on a train on a bus or anything like that if you must cough or sneeze please please i beg of you cover your mouth not with your hands, with a tissue. I have a ton of these little Kleenex tissues all over the house, in my car, in my handbag, everywhere. So try to keep one of those in your pocket if you know you're going to a public area and if you feel the need to sneeze or cough, then take one of those and sneeze into that. If you really don't have one near you, then cough or sneeze into your elbow. If you think about it, how often do you touch your face with your elbow? Never, so that should be fine. The next tip, which I feel like should just in general be something that we all do, is to wash your hands often for at least 20 to 30 seconds. So a tip that I got that I love is to sing happy birthday slowly while you wash your hands. And I love that because you're just sitting there going, mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, yeah, and also focus on getting that soap and water on the backs of your hands because like I said, we don't realize it, but we do touch our face quite a bit 
it with the backs of our hands. And then when you dry your hands, please use a paper towel. Try not to use your kitchen towel that you reuse all the time or, you know, your hand cloth or whatever. Rather use a paper towel and immediately dispose of it. Also, do not touch your face. Please don't touch your face. That is ultimately what I'm trying to say in this entire video is avoid touching your face. If you must touch your face, please use something clean. So either your newly washed hands or a tissue or like if your face is really itchy and you need to get it right now then just you know try to keep all your surfaces and at home clean you can just use normal soap and water if you really think it's necessary you can use bleach the surfaces that you touch the most so your door handles your fridge handle your kettle your microwave the toilet handle button flushy thing you know because we all touch that when our hands are nasty so you want to keep that one bleached up real good if you work in an office building i would suggest as soon as you get to your office in the morning get one of those sanitizing wipes i have the Dettol sanitizing wipes take one of those and just wipe down your cubicle or your space you know so wipe down your computer your keyboard your mouse your everything whatever your chair everything at your desk like you know your little drawer pulls and stuff just try to keep your area as clean as possible as well and again if you need to cough if you need to sneeze use a tissue so keep a box of tissues at your desk use a tissue for that and then dispose of that immediately because you don't want those germs lying around so what do i do when i get to work <laughs> because of course i work on this tiny metal tube in the sky where we try to fit almost 200 people in very close quarters next to each other. So how do we avoid getting this coronavirus? Well, like I've already told you, I practice good hygiene, but let me just take you through my day. So as soon as I get to work, the first thing I do before I even put away my suitcase or touch anything, I take out my sanitizing wipes and I sanitize all of my surfaces that I touch the most. So the handles of the trolleys, the PA phone, the buttons of that, everything, my jump seat, my belt buckle, my seat belt buckle on my jump seat, everything that I touch the most, I'll wipe it down. When I'm done with that, I'll put my suitcase away. I will check my emergency equipment. I will check my catering that everything is fine. And I will go and wash my hands. Then I'll come back and I will wipe down our, we get like these machines for card transactions on board. I wipe that down with a sanitizing wipe because that's usually inside the trolley and I wipe down my cell phone. Oh, that's another tip. Please wipe your cell phones as regularly as possible, multiple times a day if you can, because those end up being gross because of how much we, you know, touch it and all that stuff. So first thing in the morning, wipe down your phone. If somebody else touches it, wipe it down afterwards, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Because again, we're trying to keep germs away from our face. After that, I will set up my trolley for for the service and stuff and at that point I need my hands to be clean because I'll be touching actual cups and actual spoons and stuff and I don't want to be handing passengers things that I've touched with dirty hands. Then we will start boarding passengers. I'll try by all means not to touch anybody's boarding pass, not to touch anybody's bags. Um, obviously if I need to help a wheelchair passenger or something like that they will hold on to me most probably and I don't mind that, that's fine. Close all the overhead stowages and try not to touch the seat backs with my hands i try to rest my arm on the seat backs if i'm walking up and down the aisle and then after that we will close our doors do the demo and secure our cabin before i sit down after securing my cabin i'll wash my hands then after takeoff i'll get up set up the trolley and everything for the service and i'll wash my hands and then I do the actual service where I'm actually like preparing people's teas and coffees and stuff. After the service, I will come back and usually I will strip the cabin first before I wash my hands again because I'm collecting people's trash anyway. But when we collect people's trash, we usually wear gloves anyway. But I still, as soon as I take off the gloves, I'm still going to wash my hands when I'm done with that. Depending on how long or short the flight is on descent. I'll go back and maybe get some more trash or whatever from passengers and I will wash my hands again. After that, we will we'll secure the cabin again for landing and then um, just before 
I take up my seat, I'll wash my hands again. Guys, in general, flight attendants wash their hands more than average people because we just are in that confined space so much. And because we're dealing with like people and beverages and stuff, we just tend to wash our hands more often than people in general. But lately we've obviously been taking it that extra, that extra little step. So if you're a passenger and you're flying anytime soon, these are my tips for you. As soon as you get onto the plane, put your bag up, take out a sanitizing wipe and wipe your seat area. You know, even if the passengers next to you think you're crazy, don't mind them. You do you. You look crazy. It's okay. No one's judging you. We're all completely supporting you. So take out your sanitizing wipe, wipe down your station. If you're seated at the window, then wipe down the window because if you might fall asleep during the flight and you're going to rest your face on that surface, wipe down your tray table on top, underneath, everything. Wipe down the buckle of your seatbelt and your armrests as well if you can. And also try to wipe down the back of the seat in front of you because a lot of people don't realize when they stand up they hold onto the seat in front of them and pull themselves up so try to keep that clean as well. Once you're seated try to stay seated. If you need to go to the toilet use a tissue to open the door. If you don't have one on you you can always ask the flight attendants if they have a space over yet to give to you use one of those use that to hold the handle of the lav and get inside there's a bin in the toilet you can throw it in there do your deed and then wash your hands while singing happy birthday take the paper towel dry your hands take another one to open the door handle again throw it out just before you leave and then you know you can always like use your foot or your bum to close the door behind you or something like that okay because that's going to keep your hands clean guys as always try to keep your hands clean then as far as i'm aware the air in an aircraft is much drier than usual air but i do suggest you keep your air vent that's above you on but also facing away from your face so that if there are any like droplets traveling it's being blown away from your face and not towards your face if that makes sense i don't know and guys finally i would just like to say please try to keep yourself informed i think that the situation is a really really serious one but also i don't think that there's a reason for us to create any stigmas against people of asian descent because that's just i mean to be honest that's just xenophobic and that's not cool so let's just not do it okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hoped it helped let me know what it is that you're doing to avoid catching the coronavirus are you just staying inside are you working from home are you wearing gloves and a face mask and goggles every time you go outside let me know the more extreme the better actually i fully support you if you want to go that route i really hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you all on my next one don't forget to spread good vibes and be kind stay healthy guys bye